So soon, the whole city was dotted with these lone columns of personal smoke, and the whole view smelled of roast death. That's a capital story. News is in about Erebus. Why, she can still make headway under... Crushed to atoms, once put it. This place wants us dead. Is someone there? <laughs> Heard one of the ship's cats crying back here somewhere. Is someone with you there? <laughs> yes, Mr. Hickey was... Have Mr. Hickey see to it. Bob! <laughs> yes, John? I'm... I'm sorry, sir. The last Lee party, sir. It's been sighted. I say it was punishment. I'm leaving for Erebus. No escort is necessary. You have nothing to fear, Lieutenant. Else people are far too busy staying alive to wage a war. May I come in, sir? If you must. Tell Irving. I was hoping we'd meet. Why the grease there, sir? I wanted to thank you for your help, for your discretion, I mean. Call it anything but help, Mr. Hickey. Please. I exercise clemency for a man abused by a devious seducer. That it also benefited you is a sin in itself, I'm sure. A devious seducer? Yes, Mr. Hickey. Mr. Gibson told me everything. How you pressed him into service, threatened to expose him should he ever refuse you. I pressed him. <laughs> you love. Turn your wolf's ear to me now and hear. Or the next piece of counsel you'll be given on the subject may come from the end of a cat of nines. We are separated here from the temptations of the world. At sea, a man can find spiritual benefit in the collective. It's no accident the world was reborn clean out of an ark, Mr. Hickey. Man's worst urges can be satisfied through Christian pleasures and graces, singing with friends, watercolors, study, climbing exercises. Climbing, sir. Your crisis is an opportunity for you to repair yourself. You are in the world's best place for it. Do you think so? God sees you, Mr. Hickey. Here more than ever. We found the creature's track circling terror. No others. No Eskimo hoots. Only Navy issue. And none near the stern. Take the at risk, man. Who does it, John? I'm very tired. I apologize, sir. Lieutenant Little wanted me to see if you needed anything more. And to tell you, he took a poll of the men to see which of them volunteers to billet on Erebus until Terra's situation is resolved. All but ten, sir. Is it mounted? I, I, um, I, I can't go down, sir. Well, you fit, don't you? Well, down there is the hold of the ship the Navy pays you to work in. You've heard them. Are you a blasphemer? Order. You look at me, Manson. 
What's left of Strong and Evans is frozen solid, sewn into hammocks like this with three layers of canvas wrapped around it. It's not them trying to get out your hearing, but rats trying to get in. Sir, sir, please. I am going to order you down that ladder now. If you refuse, I will not recommend you to be lashed again. I will recommend you be made to sit in the dead room with your friends, with the door locked, until you learn that God grants us many things in this world, but he does not grant us ghosts. So he wouldn't. Would you like to see? <laughs> what you need is more light, Mr. Manson. You go and fetch a lantern, and then you can keep Mr. Hartnell and me safe. On the Fine total of 750 pounds. Salt pork, 210. Flour, 902. Cheese, 87. Dried fruits, 9 pounds. Only after making the men Lady Jane's Christmas pudding last week. Yeah, yeah. Of lemon juice. Not quite 200 gallons remain. Though Dr. MacDonald suspects it's lost most of its anti scurvy properties by now. As for the tins, we've now inspected everyone and tossed out the putrid. It's clear now. Why the Stefan Goldner Tin Foods Company was the low bidder. I'd like to run that man through. What's left? Number 1,402 tins preserved meats, 1,163 preserved vegetables, 911 preserved soup, 1,182 potatoes. And when is the point of no return? If we reduce to three quarter rations, we'll reach the end of our provisions midwinter next year. If we're stuck in again with no game, that with our current roster of 116 men. Why mention the number of men, Lieutenant? <clears throat> We've not seen hide nor even a hair of Mr. Teeth and Claws discuss how to reduce further in a month's time. And finally, advise Mr. Wall and Mr. Diggle that they should emphasize salt. And not a word of this yet to anyone who is not. Frozen ships are good shelters. But these men are feeling the call of. Hey, fight! Forward, men! Not just rotting. Dr. Good, sir, has discovered a more insidious issue, which has been silently undercutting all of us for years. So they were manufactured. All the counts. Every single one of them. One south, <coughs> one east. Each party will have two officers and four mixed men. They will surely have concerns about traveling any distance in such small numbers, but it is a risk we urgently need to take. And if we're unable to find game, sir? Then we will proceed as we have and keep moving south. I'll take south. Yes. That, that leaves only three. To my knowledge, this has never been done. <laughs> There's some modicum of protocol that must be observed, even here. The word diet comes from the Greek dieta, a way of life. We've an hour left before we need to return. Let's cover more ground. I'll go east with Mr. Armitage and Mr. Pocock. Far, Higgy, you're with me. We'll go south. Walk half an hour, then turn back. We'll meet at this spot. My God. Stay here. I'll approach them alone. We don't want to speak to them.
The captain said so, didn't he? My name is Lieutenant John Irving of Her Majesty's Royal Navy. John. Friends and I, we uh, are, uh, are we're, we're looking for game, food, food, nothing, food, 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 food. yes, nothing, yes, nothing, yes, nothing, yes, Mr. Hickey. Why don't you unpack check in with Mr. Darlington, the corker? He's on the all up. The all up, sir, is. Deck just below. Mm -hmm. Have you been on a ship before? Not like this one, sir. Change of pace, then. Change of everything, sir. Thank you. 